Hello, everyone. My name is Rick Farron. And you know, I haven't been exposing the evils of the Watchtower for 16 years. And I've been doing it every week on our radio program. And my mission has always been and will always be allowing everyone to tell their story on my program on how they have been adversely touched by the tentacles of the Watchtower. Maybe you're one of those persons that's been adversely touched by the tentacles. Everything gets discussed about the Watchtower. We don't leave anything out. We allow people to talk about whatever they want. We want to hear it all here at the Six Screens. And if you're a former Jehovah's Witness, you want to hear it too, don't you? We want to talk about the scandals, the history, the false prophecies, mind control, human trafficking, Masonic connection, occult practices. Yes, we talk about these things. Other programs don't do it. They don't go that far, but we're different. We let everyone speak their voice concerning what goes on behind the curtains of the Watchtower. Now, over the years, a number of people have called into our live radio programs on Saturday night and many of these people have talked about a secret order that exists within the Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, maybe you never heard of it, but I have heard of it in 16 years a number of times where people have suggested this secretive order that the rank and file does not know about. The higher echelon knows about it. It's a dark, deep side, and very few Jehovah's Witnesses experience it automatic writing, extreme sexual abuse, torture, human sacrifice. Yes, the climate is right right now for us to talk about some of these ritual abuse activities that take place in the Watchtower, including satanic ritual abuse. We're going to expose it tomorrow night on our Six Greens program. January 22nd, 2022 at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and also midnight Eastern Standard Time. Now, in the last few years, as we all know, the media has been exposing the perverted sexual abuse of children and adults. How about Jerry Sandusky? Remember him, the Penn State coach, Matt Lauer, Bill Crosby, Prince Andrew, Larry Nassar, the the doctor for the Olympics, Governor Como, Jeffrey Epstein, his girlfriend, Chris Lean Maxwell, and then the list is much longer. So the world now is coming to grips with perverted sexual activity. The main problem was when the victims speak up, they don't seem to get people to believe them, especially when it comes to ritual abuse satanic abuse. Saturday night, tomorrow night, as I say, on the Heart to Heart program with Angela and Dan Clark, as well as on a program, a special program at midnight, we will be addressing the subject of satanic ritual abuse in the Watchtower. Friends, I have to tell you, and I want you to be aware of it. I think you are aware of it anyway. Satanism is a recognized religion. We we cannot doubt that. It is a recognized religion. And on certain calendar dates, Satanists perform worship to the devil. This is a known fact. They perform evil acts upon people, innocent people. Now, one such person that has been subject to satanic ritual abuse, as she claims. She's going to be coming on tomorrow on the six screens. Lisa called into my live program on January 8th, on my news program that I do every week. And she wanted to talk about some of the abuse that she suffered in the, in the Watchtower. We couldn't believe it. And now she's coming on tomorrow night to tell her full story. I'm going to play a clip. I want you to hear a clip of her coming on my program on January 8th. Listen to what Lisa has to say. For sure. Hey, Yvonne Willis, go ahead, California. 
You want to say something? Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Hi, this is Lisa. Hi, I, I texted you earlier. Hi, Lisa. How you doing? I'm good. Um, I wanted to expose the Jehovah's Witnesses who are actually, I don't know if you're aware of this, but they're actually Freemasons. They are, they are Freemasons. I was, uh, my biological father was a 33 degree Freemason. He was Mexican mafia and he sold me to a Sicilian mafia family who could not have children where I was, uh, satanic ritual abuse was done on me. Um, I've been human trafficked. I've been drugged. I have been, I'm being illegally live streamed. I've had the Jehovah's Witnesses hunt me down. I was microchipped illegally. This was all done by Jehovah's Witnesses, Freemason, which are really Freemasons, um, FBI, CIA, and NSA, because I found out the truth about the Jehovah's Witnesses, the governing body. <laughs> I mean, the governing body is is human trafficking all over the world. They're human trafficking and they're in bed with the FBI, the CIA and NSA. Um, you can see me being live streamed illegally through the um, K-Love radio station, Christian radio station in San Diego, California. And it's just the politicians are involved. Gavin Newsom, the governor, mayor, Todd Glory is involved. They came in here, it's a company called SIS. They came into the apartment building where I live at and uh, Cynthia Hernandez, property manager for Hyder now was with John Stewart Real Estate Company and um, also William Burrez, who's a maintenance manager. He's also, um, he also was bribed by these, by SIS. They're all in bed. I have contacted 96 congressmen and women a year ago. Not one of them offered to help because they're involved. There's so much um, satanic ritual abuse. If you look at Springmeyer, um, he talks about how the Jehovah's Witnesses are involved in Enochian magic. I have the bloodlines, Charles Taze Russell. He was buried in a Freemason cemetery in Pennsylvania. Um, it just, it talks about the, the pedophiles that are just rampant in the Jehovah's Witnesses, again, they're all the Freemasons, their Jehovah's Witnesses really are Freemasons and they don't want anybody to know. It's one of the biggest cover-ups and there's nothing Christian about them. They're part of the MK Ultra. I'm a survivor of MK Ultra as well. So when I mean satanic ritual abuse, they they take children and they they sacrifice, they put them on the altar of a Baphomet statue and they stretch these babies' organs and to get them ready to be human trafficked in the future. They microchip them illegally. It's being done by Freemasons who are um, who are judges, lawyers, cops. Well, we'll stop right there. Now, I know that everyone listening in here now, I mean, I, I know that not everyone is going to agree with what Lisa is saying, but we do give people the opportunity to speak up and tell us how they've been touched, as we say, by the tentacles of the Watchtower. So why don't you listen in? I mean, you see she's naming names. She has a whole lot of names she's going to be mentioning Saturday night. She's not afraid to do that. She's going to be sharing things with us you've never heard before. I think you'll find it very fascinating. But like I say, listen to her claims. We're going to give her the, the platform here to do that. So by all means, why don't you join us uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night, January 22nd, beginning at 930 and she will be telling that story of the secret order of devil worshipers in the Watchtower. And I know you're saying, oh, Rick, come on. Hey, I want her to tell her story. Do I agree with her 100%? Let me hear her story. So I want you guys to come in. If you could dial in tomorrow, in fact, all the information is on you. Go to the box on YouTube and all of the information is there on how to listen into our program. But friends, let's not totally discount it. We, we know the Watchtower is a very dark and evil organization. Well, let's, I think we're all understanding that. And we also know right now that all of these sexual perverted acts <clears throat> being mentioned in the media, there's something going on. There's a spirit of darkness out there. Let Lisa come on. Let her tell her story. 
listen to it tomorrow night. You can call in. People will be calling in from all over the world. We're getting a lot of people already. Rick, when is Lisa coming on? Tomorrow night, people will be calling in, as I say, from all over the world. And why don't you be one of them and call in? And if you get some questions to ask, ask Lisa yourself. I think you'll find the program very, very fascinating. So why don't you join us tomorrow evening right here on the Six Greens Tele Network. We appreciate your presence. Thank you guys for listening.